Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So on today's shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you a really great feature that will allow you to work on more complex projects, specifically if you're going to be using a lot of filters and effects on your videos, and you could do all of this without having to use proxy clips. Now, before we get into this feature, let's talk about a few things so you can understand why this is going to be so useful for you. So a little bit earlier, I did talk about proxy clips. So if you're not familiar with what proxy clips are, it is a feature that allows you to create lower resolution versions or proxies of your original video clips. So this is going to be really useful if you're going to be working with higher resolution files, like this is a 4K file, or if you're going to be working with more complex projects and using lots of effects and filters, or if you have a low powered machine. So all of these things combined will affect the overall performance while you are video editing. And so thankfully, Shotcut does provide a proxy feature. If you go up to here to settings, go to proxy, you see proxy features here. And even though this is definitely a great feature to have, it does require additional steps. And at the same time, these proxy clip files do take up space on your computer. So you're going to have to have additional storage for that. And so with all that said, now let's talk about the really great feature that Shotcut does provide that will improve your video editing speed without having to use proxy clips. So if you go up here to settings, you see a feature called preview scaling. So what this allows you to do is to preview your video editing at lower resolution without having to create proxy files. And so the default is none, but there's 360p, 540p, and 720p. So all of these are lower resolution than 1080p, and it's definitely lower than 4K. And this is definitely going to improve the overall performance of your video editing. So let me show you an example. So if I go here to filters, I have three filters here. But before that, I'm going to show you how this performs without adding anything. So I'm just playing this. The playback's just fine. I don't have any issues at all. But as I start adding these video filters, you're going to see the performance really go down. So the first one I'm going to add is this old film Technicolor filter. So that's one, and it still runs just fine. But then I'm going to add another one, 360 stabilized, and now you're going to start seeing some performance differences. So you can see that it's a lot slower, a few frames at a time, definitely not smooth. And then if I add this third one, it's basically going to stop. So let me show you this one. So now let's go ahead and try to play back. And nothing's happening. It's probably going to show one frame at a time. There it is. Just barely, just barely moving a frame at a time. So as you can see here, your performance would definitely suffer, especially if you have way more clips and other effects and filters, which most people will, especially on more complex projects. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now let's take a look at this with the preview scaling feature. So if we go over here to settings, go to preview scaling, I'm going to choose 720p first. And if you notice the resolution changed because it's now previewing at 720p, which is a lower resolution. So if I play this, still choppy, but way better than what it was before, where it's basically showing one frame every few seconds with all three of our effects or filters on. So let's go ahead and drop it down further. We're going to go to 540p. And this, I would say, is more useful. <laughs> so you're going to have a few more frames with this preview. And then finally, we're going to drop this down to 360p. And this one's going to give you the overall best performance. And at least for me, this is probably the preview scaling I'm going to be using most of the time. And that is all without having to create proxy clip files and having to use up more space on your computer. And about the only drawbacks to using this preview scaling or even using proxy clips is you are going to be looking at a lower resolution of your video in this preview window. And so if you wanted higher fidelity, then you could always turn that off and then kind of see how things look. Or you could also turn off some effects and filters. 
But overall, I really feel preview scaling is an awesome feature to have, especially for people who really want to work with more effects filters and complex projects. And even if you didn't use all those things, just getting better performance out of your video editor, especially if you have a lower power machine, is always a big win. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my shotcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Gold Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.